So the Las Vegas Raiders have had a problem at the quarterback position all year, bringing in Gardner Minshew, who has not worked out, and then Aiden O'Connell breaking his thumb in his second start of the season. The Raiders had to go out and find another quarterback or bring up Carter Bradley off the practice squad. However, according to sources within the Raiders, the Raiders coaching staff did not have a whole lot of confidence in Carter Bradley. He is not ready to come up into the NFL as a even a backup at this point. So they go and they get Desmond Ritter. Yes, we already know this. However, what you didn't know and what nobody is talking about is according to the same sources within the Raiders, Desmond Ritter so far has greatly impressed the coaching staff and even general manager Tom Telesco and his staff since coming to the Raiders only a few days ago. In fact, when asked about whether or not Desmond Ritter would have a possibility of starting against the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday, Coach Antonio Pierce had this to say. I know he just got here, but is there a scenario that you can see one way or the other where Desmond Ritter might be on the field on Sunday? If he's that quick in the playbook, that'd be positive. But as of right now, we'll go with Gardner. Now, if you pay close attention to what he just said there, he left the door open for Desmond Ritter to start on Sunday. But obviously, Desmond Ritter needs to learn the playbook. But if he can learn the playbook fast enough, he could actually start. Well, a day later, according to sources close to the Raiders, Desmond Ritter has been so impressive to the coaches and the front office that if Gardner Minshew even wavers the slightest bit in this KC game, if we are down by 10 points or more, you're going to see Desmond Ritter take over the show. Now, I personally don't agree with this strategy. I think if you're going to put the kid in, Put him in from the beginning. Let him get his feet in the fire straight from snap number one. Don't put him in the situation, which is what Antonio Pierce has been doing with Aiden O'Connell, where we get down by two scores or more and the game is on the line and then you throw in Aiden O'Connell. The same thing might be done with Desmond Ritter. I would prefer that the Raiders, if you're going to go with Desmond, if he's been so impressive so far that you're even considering doing this, just go ahead and do it from the beginning. And speaking of doing things from the beginning, have you guys entered to win your $300 Xbox Go Smart AI gimbal that we're giving away here on the channel? This is the second one we're giving away. The grand prize winner was last Sunday, and if you guys want to enter to win, all you got to do is like this video make sure you're subscribed and comment down below draft 2025 yes comment draft 2025 blah, 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 blah. yes comment draft 2025 down in the comments below along with all of your other comments and you'll automatically be entered to win we'll be announcing the winner of this grand prize soon but we're also giving away t-shirts of the just win baby max crosby silhouette dry fit $50 value. If you guys want to enter to win to that, you just do the same thing. Comment down below, draft 2025. Make sure you're subscribed and like this video, and we will select a random winner. We just gave away a t-shirt just the other day, and one could be coming your way as well. Now let's talk about Desmond Ritter and what he brings to the Raiders. We've already talked about him a little bit, but I want to go a little bit of a deeper dive as well as talking to some of the people within the Raiders organization and how they feel about Desmond Ritter moving forward. Desmond Ritter had a lot of hype coming out of the draft from the Cincinnati Bearcats over to the Atlanta Falcons, but his career there was short-lived and he was cut after just a single starting season. He had 12 touchdowns and 12 interceptions, but he also had five touchdowns on the ground. However, he also has a bit of a problem of holding on to the ball as he had six fumbles for loss. That's not a good stat for a quarterback. But it was his first year as a starting quarterback, and I think Atlanta was simply too quick to cut the cord with Desmond Ritter. I think that he has a lot of upside, and if he's given the ability and the time and the coaching to get some of the negatives out of his game and focus on what he's really good at, he could be a good quarterback in the NFL. 
Now, I'm not saying that Desmond Ritter should be the franchise quarterback of the Raiders, but you never know. So what else do we have to lose? Let's be honest. The Raiders have a 4% chance of making the playoffs as it stands right now. If we beat the Chiefs, our odds will go up a little bit, but again, not a lot. And therefore, I think you really don't have anything to lose at this point. You know that Gardner Minshew is not the franchise quarterback. He's not going to be the franchise quarterback. And you kind of just got to cut the cord with him and put him on the bench for the rest of the season and make him a backup quarterback. Maybe even drop him down to the practice squad, hoping that somebody would come and pick him up if they lose their starting quarterback and their backup quarterback is simply worse than Gardner Minshew. I don't think that that would happen, so you're probably better off just keeping him as your backup. However, I also believe that Aiden O'Connell, when he comes back, deserves another shot, and so it's really going to depend on how Desmond Ritter plays. And according to the sources that are breaking this news, Desmond Ritter will be starting most likely next, next week, especially if he comes in for Gardner Minshew, say, in the second or third quarter, and he does admirable. If, if he has a good game, if he doesn't make a lot of mistakes, you will see him against the Cincinnati Bengals next week, and then we'll have the bye week, which means he'll have more time to really get acquainted with both his receivers as well as this playbook and get it dialed in so that when we come back out, we can see how he can really do and see whether or not he's a guy that we're going to want to keep around. I remember we pulled him off of the practice squad of the Arizona Cardinals. So he is cheap and you could easily sign him to a couple year deal as a backup quarterback. Um, and then depending on how Aiden O'Connell is, whether or not you want to keep AOC, maybe put Desmond on the practice squad or put AOC on the practice squad and then go draft your franchise quarterback in whether it's a Cam Ward or Shador Sanders or somebody else. I really don't honestly think in the first round there's anybody in college football right now that's going to come out in the draft that is going to be worthy of a first round draft pick other than Cam Ward and Shador Sanders. I think everybody else is a second round, third round type of draft picks and some are not even probably going to come out this year so we'll have to wait even another year to see them. So if the Raiders are in a position to draft their franchise quarterback I really hope that it's going to be a Cam Ward, but I would not mind a Shador Sanders. In which case, you've got to make a decision. Listen, Gardner Minshew is not going to be here next year. We're going to get out from underneath his contract and cut him. He is not worth the money that we are paying him. And if you just play into the strengths of a Desmond Ritter, he can actually win you some games. Do a lot of RPOs, a lot of planned rollouts with him, get him out of the pocket, let him scramble. And one of the benefits of Desmond Ritter, especially over Gardner Minshew, is he's six foot three and he is faster. He has better pocket awareness. The only thing that with him is he tends to hold the ball a little bit too long, and that is what has caused him to have fumbles in the past with the Atlanta Falcons. If you can clean that up with him, if you can run plays where he's not holding the ball for four or five seconds and get the ball out of his hands quickly or have him scramble out for first downs, then Desmond Ritter can be very effective in this offense. And I think he's actually a better fit for Luke Getze's offense than Gardner Minshew or AOC combined, simply because he is much more athletic and he is better at throwing on the run than either Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell. And so if you get a lot of those planned scramble outs, if you get a lot of those RPOs where you know it's a run pass option, he can make the decision at the line of scrimmage, which he's very good at doing, then you can have some success, and that's going to open up the run game. He also can throw the deep ball pretty well, so I'm pretty excited to see what Desmond Ritter can bring. This is his opportunity to shine. Will he take the reins? The coaching staff has been very impressed with him, and the plan is to move forward with Desmond Ritter for the foreseeable future, at least until Aiden O'Connell's thumb is completely healed, and Gardner Minshew is on his way out the door.